Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So for the last few weeks, I've been talking about how to live without regret. And while I was writing one of my newsletters that I do every week, I came across a quote about um, I can't remember the exact quote, <laughs> but it was about how you'll never regret telling somebody that you love them. And it got me thinking that actually there was another <laughs> episode that I needed to add to my living without regrets. And it is about telling people that you love them. Because I've been quite fortunate in my life that the people that I've lost, I have told that I love them. And I can't tell you of the peace and the completion that I feel in knowing that the people, when they passed, knew that I loved them. Um, my little brother, as I've mentioned many times before, passed when he was 19. And we happened to have gone out with him for supper the night before. Myself, my brother, his wife, and my children, I think, as well. And we all hugged him and kissed him goodbye, and my cousin Georgie, and we told them how much we loved them not knowing obviously what was going to happen the following day. But knowing that that was the last thing I said to him was the most amazing sort of feeling, um, even through all the horror of what actually happened. Just knowing that he knew that I loved him was very, very important. Um, and again with my father, my father and I haven't always had the most straightforward relationship. My parents separated when I was six years old. And unfortunately that caused quite a lot of distance in my relationship with my father. However, about 15 years ago, I think it was. However, about 15 years ago, I think it was, I decided that I was going to let him know how much he meant to me, even if it was awkward, even if it was uncomfortable. And I'd make a purpose, a point of giving him a hug and telling him how much I loved him every time I saw him or when I spoke to him on the phone or interacted with him. And at first it was really awkward. <laughs> I wouldn't say that it was easy. But I remember there came a point when my kids were still quite young and anyone who's had young kids will know that there comes a point in the evening when you're making supper and everything else and it's called like the witching hour when everything just goes crazy. And he happened to arrive at my house at that time and I was up to my eyeballs and making supper and juggling two young kids and everything else and I didn't go over and hug him. And he stood there and he said, so where's my hug? And it touched me more than I think he'll ever realise because he'd come to expect me to give him a hug every time I saw him, which was certainly not the way our life had been prior to my decision to make sure that he knew that I loved him. And also I want to share with you some rather humiliating things. <laughs> um, as a young teenager and as a young adult, um, I had a number of infatuations and I thought they were love and whatever else. And I sort of expressed myself to the opposite of the person who the infatuation was with. And I suppose in my sort of enthusiasm, I was rather gushing. And although at the time when things didn't work out, I felt quite embarrassed about it, I can't say that I've ever regretted it. Um, and that's really what this video is about, is that sometimes it can be really awkward to tell people that you love them, the people that you really do love, for whatever reasons in life. But you will regret it if you don't, and you won't regret it if you do, no matter how hard it is. And you never know when the last time you're going to see somebody is. And the thought of them going without knowing what is in your heart, if you sit there and think about it, is far worse than the humiliation or embarrassment of sharing something that allows, that makes you feel vulnerable. I think this is going to be my last little episode, well for now anyway, on living without regrets. But I thought that it was very, very important to share this particular one with you because what makes life beautiful is love, is those connections with other people. And if we hold back, if we don't express ourselves fully, we don't live fully and we don't allow people into our lives. And although it can be scary at times, it is certainly well worth the risk. Even if you get rebuffed, even if that person doesn't return those sentiments. Because when you've expressed it, you've stood in alignment with yourself and it doesn't matter if that other person doesn't return those sentiments. Being told that someone loves you is one of the most wonderful gifts you can give somebody. And the beauty in telling them that you love them is not in waiting for them to respond and tell them, tell you that they love you. The beauty in it is it's a gift. To love somebody openly, full-heartedly is a true gift. 
And to share that with somebody is incredibly special. And the regrets come when you don't and you hold it back. I hope you enjoyed yourself today and that maybe you can take something away from this. If you're interested in coaching with me, then you can find out more about me on my website and the link will be in the show notes below. Or if you're interested in any of my online courses, again, the link will be in the show notes below. If you've enjoyed this episode and you don't want to miss out on any future ones, please make sure you subscribe. And I always appreciate any likes anyone feels inclined to give me. So much love from me to you. Have a lovely week. Bye bye.